Ezrona bana ba yan fil yun. Re tsepetse motho yo wan. O batho ba ko ba ko district ba mile mpa. Ba beile zolile fo discipline. Mare ene self ana discipline. So rona re llela ko ene. E no re bela go es batho ba bantsho ga sokodisa. Ga tena dilotse yalo. O se jisa le bana bana banyana ba filile safe. A ba filile safe. Ene ende ka bona wa itse rona ba simane. Wa itse re most ra re bua thata. Hanka dlalla ko rona. Ka bona na ga wa itse re tlo re tlo mo peisa re tlo re tsa dilotse. O dula bribe le banyana every time. Every time. Go na le ngwana na tshaba go tla sekolong ka term 4 a tlo kwala exam. Ka bona go tshaba zolile. Ba isa go principal. Principal ba rengwe o tla isa go police station. Sa le re e nyametse da case. A ri tsi go tsagetseng. Yo. Ah. Oh, she wey ni si. Go na mai. Go na mai. Mo ne ke tsaga la botsi. Guys, please keep quiet. Please keep quiet, otherwise you are going to leave now. Guys, please keep quiet. Saving his people to leave. Can you all please keep quiet? We want to hear you. We want to hear your side of your story. But if you are making noise, you are making things difficult for all of us. And all the learners that spoke here, they are pointing out a difficult situation. We want to hear them properly so that we can attend to the issues. I'm pleading with you. Please keep quiet. Good Proceed. evening, guys. I am Shuain Ali, as you all know. Um, so since Friday, eh, since Friday, the things did happen. Okay, Shab, we would have faced left it just like that, eh? but then the, the white guys did send a, a voice note. Saying, yeah, the scuffers, what, 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 and this is a scuffer school, and we must go to apartheid, what, what, what. We then, at, uh, we, the learners at 11.60, sent it to the teacher. The teacher said, we must leave it just like that. Then the parents of the white kids came in the situation. They went on Facebook, they posted things on Facebook, we reacted, we went and said, no, this is wrong what your guys are saying. And then I got threatened saying they're going to kill me. I am not safe here anymore at Yanfil Uni. And the school wasn't so. The racism was there, but it wasn't like it is now. So that's all I want to say. Hello, Hello. 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 We would just like to say that what happened on Friday is very wrong because uh, why should only the white kids be protected in the school when all of us pay school fees and why are the white children treated otherwise and so we as children from Yanfil Yun don't feel safe because parents started treating us and saying that they're gonna show us who is the boss of the plus and they're gonna kill us they're just gonna bring guns and shoot us uh, how are we supposed to feel safe at our own school so uh, where we pay school fees why why don't we deserve to be treated equally Sarafina. Excuse. you're gonna be okay hey, hey, hey. Us. Hey, hey, hey. Us. Us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, number four in the list. No, not on the list. Speak. Ah, firstly, give a call. Rechate, zeke. Rechate, zeke. But you have to go to school. Zoli, Mr. Zoli, le ne ayi zeke discipline. Agi zinga wai woke. It's because loro na isba to reklam chiso rakwa ta loro rena lidi feelings. And my teacher I go to school long, but I can't handle it. But I can't handle it. Because what's my body principal? What's her afraid? Because you don't say it's a kid. But we say we are going to be hooligan. We're going to hooligan. Yeah. We're not going to come on to hooligan again. If I walk out, we're going to hooligan again. Then. Bona. Kilimeti mo. 
medical first aid ke go ba re shebile fela after ba go tlogela ge le yana so no a ke tso gere because me ma a sa tshepa sekolose ene ke go metric no yana a gone go tswa go sekolose na ke no ke go tswa witse thank you thank you ke khatse e tsho ma go pa zoli le tlhe please so there was a thing going on like as we as black people we have ancestral gifts like that are going on we have, we have ancestral gifts going on and those like they used to happen i don't know why but then they used to be triggered by something and learners were told to get out of the school because of the white children feel safe because of we were demonic there's a learner that went out of the school because of they told her to get out of the school we thought they don't want her they felt unsafe with her being here because of she used to have ancestral attacks and there's also a thing going on about boys not being allowed to have dreads. I thought it was African culture. Thank you so much. Siamo is the last one. Where's Siamo? Generally, you know who? Okay. Um, sir, we're not going to complain about a lot of things. We're just complaining about the way we are treated at the school. These boys started everything and then I was the girl who was punched and then nobody came to check up on me if whether I'm okay or not. We have recordings of those boys confessing that they started it. They hoid the ears the club and there's one where one of them is calling us the Kafirs saying that we're not supposed to sit under this tree. No, it's Dian. They said it's Dian. Dian said that we're not supposed to sit under this tree because we are always where they are and this is a tree where this is the tree of the school where we are all supposed to be safe. We're supposed to sit anywhere. I mean, how can we be hit because of we are playing music? They come with camp chairs here. They play music and no one tells them anything. That's what I wanted to complain about because I'm a victim. Uh, let's take the last one. Um, I would like to speak on behalf of the... I would like to speak on behalf of the spiritual children of the school. Yeah. We have been victimized. We have been victimized for having things that we cannot control. A few teachers making remarks behind our backs, calling us demonic, calling it witchcraft. I got removed from the school premises for two terms for something that I could not control. Now I cannot, I cannot be in metric. I have, to be, I have to repeat a grade because of them. And I'd also like to speak on behalf of a few of the Sorry. personnel. I also I would also like to Sorry, mention we're that to you. we're listening to you, we don't want to listen to others. It's not fair. I would also like to mention that there's a few personnel that would not like to be mentioned, which are black, that have also been molested by Zolile. He, he sent sexual messages to them, he's harassed them. And I'd also like to touch on the fact that there were a few teachers here that pushed one of my friends that he pu she pushed one of my friends so that she could stop shooting on shooting videos of Friday. Okay. And I'd also like to touch on the fact that the principal called us animals and his wife. He called us animals and hooligans and he was laughing like it was funny while everyone else w was hurt. And, that, and can we also touch on the fact that there were people injured and no one attended to those that were injured on Friday. On Friday? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm number 10. I'm number 10. <laughs> but you are now on 12, so someone spoke who's not supposed to speak. Okay, so sir, I would like to speak on the fact that because... Them, 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 come this side. Okay. Yeah. I would like to speak on the fact that I was trying to take a video of the white kids hitting one boy. A massive boys hitting one boy. Grade 12 boys, sir. I was trying to take a video and I have proof. A teacher comes to me and slaps my phone. I ask her why is she doing that. She pushed me to the wall. And I'm asking her, ma'am, you can't push me like that. And she pushes me and touches my face and asks me what am I going to do about it. And I'm like, ma'am, you're not allowed to touch me. You're not my mother. And then she tries to hit me and another the teacher has to, top, has to stop her from touching me and nothing was done about that. I go to the deputy principal and she's like, oh well. And I gave her my statement and nothing was done about that. That's fine. This is there. We take that. Okay. Yeah, let's take the last one. The last one. Um, I'm not sure to complain personally. I, I, I Actually, I am. But I'm just, I'm just here to say that. Keep quiet. Please keep quiet. You can't hear now. Can you see? Because I'm making noise. 
the amount of melanin in my skin should not play a significant role in, my, in defining who I am or how I am treated. 28 years later and being black automatically puts you at risk. Can't replace the hatred we feel towards one another with something more beautiful and that is love, love and compassion for one another. No matter what the skin color may be, we should be in, in building bridges to bring us closer instead of what we're doing in the opposite. We should be moving forward and not repeating history. School is supposed to be a safe heaven for us. Instead, we fear for our lives. We have been silent for four years now, but we speak up. It is enough. It's, it, it's time we put all this to an end. If not for us, then for the future generations. I've taken note of all your issues. There are five disturbing issues that I've taken note of. <laughs> The first one that is very worrying and disturbing is that girls feel they are not safe here. Yeah. I've taken note of that. I'm with the MEC for social development. Oh. I'm with the MEC for social development. I will ask you to establish a team from social development to come and investigate these allegations immediately. Yes. And the affected person, I'll speak to the SGB and the school management, that we can't have somebody here while learners don't feel safe with that person. Yes. So I've taken note of that part. The second part... The second part, I'm worried about those learners that have evidence of what happened on Friday and they are not allowed to give their evidence. Yes. So we will make arrangements to get that evidence and add it to the list that we have already. So be assured we'll get that information. The third part, those that got injured and they were not supported, I will request that when we disperse here, please come forward. We will provide all the necessary assistance that is needed. Are we okay? The fourth part, <clears throat> the fourth part, I want to assure you, I got the report from the police. There are people that have been identified and there are people that have been charged by the police and their names have been handed over to the NPA to take a decision. And because we are dealing with minors, there are processes that need to be followed and be protected. Are we together? So all the issues that we've raised, we've gathered that information we will be in a position to give it to the police and the police will follow it up. The last part, which to me, it pains me a lot. It pains me a lot for all of you to be reminded that you are still black in your own country. And my dear children, my dear children, I want to assure you, whatever it takes, they might have oppressed their grand, our grandparents and succeeded. They might have oppressed our parents and succeeded. They will never oppress our children and our children. So, all the issues of racism in this school, all the issues of racism in this school, I don't want them to be investigated by the SGB. I don't want them to be investigated by the district. I'm going to call the South African Human Rights Commission to come. It's time, it's time we set an example yes. that we are not stepchildren in this country. Yes. 
we also belong in here and we must be protected. So I want to thank all of you, my children, for being, thank you. I want to, we, Sit down, let me conclude. Uh, ignore what is happening here. Can you all sit down? Can you all sit down? Can you all sit down? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. We can't, while you are addressing your concerns, you start to fight in front of everyone that is here. That says a lot about all of you. That says a lot about your conduct. And that can't be tolerated. You can't complain and in return do exactly the same thing that you're complaining against. So I want to warn you children, if you have invited me to come to your school, I'm not going to tolerate ill discipline. No matter how right you might be, if you are not disciplined, the gate is open, you must as much go as well. Because we can't allow ill discipline to be in this particular school. Are we together? You must conduct yourself in a manner that you want us to treat you. And I don't like what I've just seen now. I don't like it and it must stop. So all your matters have been registered, we'll attend to them. I know all of you, you want to know what will happen to the learners that did what they did on Friday. As I said, they are minors and the police are investigating the matter. I can't divulge the details here now. At an appropriate moment, we'll give you that information. I'm going to meet with all your educators now because there are some educators I received information. They are also uttering words that are hating all of us. So I'm going to meet with them. And tomorrow you must tell your parents. I'm going to meet with all your parents tomorrow here as well. So that we can sort out all the problems, okay? So boys and girls, please go home safely. Tomorrow come back. Everything will go back to normal. All the problems are with me now. I will attend them. And on Friday, I'm going to come back here to give you feedback on how far we are. Are we together? Thank you so much. You may leave. How are you, man? Let me see. Let me see. Sorry, let me see.